Hi guys it's JLite here, and today I'm gonna be doing a ranking and reviewing of the album by Blackpink, since now I've listened to all the 8 songs properly. Also this is my opinion, it may differ from yours so please be respectful in the comments and share your album rankings in the comments. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> Lol. Y'all probably expected this. Because ice cream wasn't liked and still isn't liked by many people. To be honest, on the day this song released, me and my sister had to literally use data to download the MV, since we had net issues that day. And when we watched it, I fell in love. I thought it was super catchy. But now I have listened to it a lot and I've found it super super boring. Like I thought it was good before but the instrumental is just boring for me now. The song is okay for me now. As a Christian, I dislike the part where she says play the part like Moses because this song is kinda s asterisk shul. My favorite parts are Jisoo's short English verse and Jenny singing in English showing off her accent. Also Lisa's rap though. This was gonna be my favorite Lisa solo rap but Love to Hate Me has appeared and I'm not sure if this is her best rap or Love to Hate Me is her best rap because both are amazing. But I'm sweet but you can put me in a cup. In 7th place, we have Pretty Savage. And OMG y'all gonna get triggered by this. Oop. I actually dislike Pretty Savage, because it's the same boring structure that YG put in the B-side. At least they had the common sense to do that. The thing about this song is that, it's not as wow as how you like that or kill this love. Like the first time I heard it, it didn't feel iconic to me. Maybe it's because it has the DDU do DDU do structure. IDK but this song wasn't it. On the other side my favorite parts of the song are Born Skinny BTCH and the whistle in the end, besides that this song is a pass. The next place is given to Bet You Wanna featuring Cardi B. This song is ranked low only because it's a forgettable b-side. Like come on. It was a collab with Cardi B, the one who made iconic songs like WAP and Bodak Yellow. Why was Bet You Wanna so forgettable? Cardi B is one of the actual good rappers in music. But this song didn't really do it for me. I don't have much to say about this song since well, I'm not a fan so yeah. No thank you next. Now we're come to the top 5, and Crazy Over You is in 5th place. Before I never really liked this song, but this song is growing on me. Like now my opinion is changed but it will still be 5th place since I love their other 4 remaining songs more. This song is better for me now, because the instrumental is so good and I really love Jenny's English voice. She sounds so good. My favorite parts of the song is Jisoo's and Rose's pre-chorus, Jisoo going like ee in the chorus and the second verse rap especially the part when Lisa says Ricular Dicular. I literally love this song so much now. It gives me so much Arabic vibes. So this song is more of a listen to often than a skip. Next song is How You Like That. The first comeback after half a year by Blackpink was made, and we got a DDU do DDU do part 3. The song was beautiful though. Better than DDU do DDU do and kill this love. Jenny Rose and Jisoo both sound so good singing together and they match so well. Lisa slayed that rap and she got to shine. But alas the song had the same boring structure we all love to stream. I don't understand why G and his many DDU do DDU do's like seriously make a good structure song. OMG. Now we're down to the top 3. Which is you never know being next. This song is so beautiful, since I'm a ballad kinda guy. But it's ranked third because even though this song made me feel things, I ranked it low surprisingly even though I like calm songs a lot more. This song was so good though. It was golden. Like the chorus. The verses. Everything. I'm glad they had a ballad b-side. It really showcases their vocals. It really shows their more emotional side and this came out perfectly. I loved everything there is to love about this. It's just so amazing. Number 2 is Love to Hate Me. This song was such a bop yo. It was so good. Like best Blackpink B-side bop ever. I could jam to this all day every day. This song is literally the best thing. Jisoo's Negative Days, Negative Nights is what I live for. 
I literally love all of them singing in English. It's such a golden comeback b-side. Jenny is my ultimate bias, but this whole album was Jisoo's era period. She got the most iconic parts and songs for the album. I love this song with the bottom of my heart. Especially the chorus. Damn everything about this was pure perfection. Thank you YG. The number one song for me on the album is Lovesick Girls. I'm so fucking in love with this comeback. Period. YG listened to the fans and gave Blackpink their best song yet. This song was literally everyone's era. Especially Jisoo. She looked so good in the MV. The song was everything I wanted. A more beautiful vibe song that wasn't hard hitting. Amazing vocals. A proper chorus. A Jen Lisa rap. A Jisoo, Rose duo. An amazing bridge. A perfect ending. This song was Chef's Kiss. And that instrumental though. I loved this comeback and will continue my unhealthy relationship with loving this comeback even more. So yeah, it's that good. Thank you for watching. Bye.